So Library of Ruina came out, the sequel to Lobotomy Corporation, and I was pretty excited to jump in, being a fan of card games, but the moment you start playing, How does this work? Combat's confusing as hell! These books can't be read. I'm hoping the short guide will help you learn the basics, but first a brief summary of the plot. An average fixer named Roland was trying to get a sandwich at his local subway when suddenly he teleports to the library where Angela resides. Yes, I'm serious about the sandwich. Maybe not the subway part. Angela's goal is to lure people into the library, and Roland's job as her new sassy manslave is to turn these people into books. Now to lure them, you have to give them an invitation, where afterwards you proceed to make a book like any ordinary person would, by driving a blade into them. You defeated the enemy, congrats! Their flesh and blood has now been compressed into a piece of literature for Angela to do god knows what. So your prize is a new book, and now you have some options. A. Save it and use it as bait to lure more innocents, or B. Burn the book like all the hip guys did back in the day, and have a chance of getting new equipment called key pages. That's your and add cards to your deck and level up your floor. Experience is stored in the key pages, so your nuggets do not have any level of their own. Key pages have different abilities and their stats will grow stronger after leveling up. After you burn a book, the key pages and cards become available to all floors to share with. You have starter cards with the unlimited supply and the cards that you gain from burning your books. You can only have a copy of three in each nuggets deck. Now combat. How does it work? At first the combat looks pretty nuts, but after a couple hours you start to think it's still nuts. How the hell does this shit work? I attack and he's not fighting me back. So first off, your attack types are slash, pierce, blunt, and your defense is block or evade. The attacks are all the same except how much damage it does depends on both your dice roll and what resistance the enemy's key page has. The block move allows you to lower the damage you take from the next move on the enemy's card or negate it entirely and deal stagger damage, so if he attacks with a 2 and you block with a 5, you will take 0 damage and stagger him for 3, and the block is used up after. Blocks are used up when blocking a defense move like another block or evade. Stagger damage still applies. Evade will negate all damage if the number rolled is higher than the attacking number and the evade will stay to dodge the next attack. If the evade roll is the same number as an attack roll or it's used up on an enemy defense roll, then it is discarded after dodging. Evades are also used up if there are attack rolls after them, like the starter card Focus Strike. Now on to speed. When you start a fight, you roll a dice and the higher the number, the faster your nuggets move when combat starts. You can use a nugget to intercept an enemy from attacking another nugget if yours has a higher speed causing those two to fight instead. If you select multiple nuggets to target a single enemy and they all have a higher speed dice, then whoever targets the enemy last will be the one to clash with them, regardless of the numbers. Now I would go into more detail like talking about abnormalities and such, but this goddamn dev team actually loves their game and keeps patching it so it keeps changing! 12 patches in two days man, that shows how much passion and care they have for this game. So at the moment that's it, I hope this video helps. Later on I will probably make another up to date tutorial that covers more, but for now, have fun inviting the dregs of society, and good luck farming those Olga pages.